Hello, welcome back. So, today, I thought I'd make a video talking about how I felt going through the Pocky One Chip Challenge. So, like, I, I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. I just thought maybe some people would like to know the insight on what it feels like for someone with a low pain intolerance and uh, someone who didn't build up heat tolerance or anything like that. Like, maybe you'd be curious how it felt going through the Pocky One Chip Challenge. Now, if you didn't see that video, it'll be linked in the description. Go watch that, and if you want to skip immediately to the chip eating part, skip the 4 minutes and 55 seconds to ignore all the introduction dialogue. Because there was a lot of fucking around with me and my friends on Discord. But if you want to just see me eat the chip, skip to 4 minutes, 55 seconds... It'll take you right there. So, it started off, I opened it up, and I, I smelled it. And the smell was, uh, awful. And when I say it smells like ass, like, I, it was really bad. Like, the smell, it didn't smell good at all. It was like a smell I've never smelled before. It was so dark. Like... It was horrible. I can't describe how it smelled. But it made my nose twitch when I smelled it. It was very discomforting to smell. Uh, eventually, I had my friends count down from 10. I don't know why they counted as slow as they did. But, it, you know, that's 10 seconds to them. I suppose. So... Uh, right when they counted down from 10, I put the chip in my mouth and I began chewing. So, I'm going to be completely honest when I went into the Pocky One Chip Challenge. I was cocky. I thought I'd last longer than what I did. Because from what I was told, it was a slow burn. Meaning I thought at first you wouldn't feel it much, and then eventually it would become one of the most unbearable things you'll ever feel. No, it was instant. Right on impact of me putting it in my mouth... I felt it. I felt it on my tongue, on my gums. It was like a fire was lit in my mouth, unironically. It was very hot. And, like, when you eat hot things, or things that are meant to be known as hot snacks, like hot Cheetos, perhaps, hot Funyuns, hot Takis, etc., you know, you don't get that feeling. Yeah, you get a little bit of spice from the capsaicin... Or I don't even know the salt or the powder that's put on it. But it's nothing that's going to make you lose your mind. Like this Pocky Chip did for me. So, it was very painful. And the worst of it was when I swallowed it, it, I couldn't, due to the fact I didn't have enough water or saliva in my mouth to swallow it, it went down in a few chunks. I wasn't able to chew it through completely because it was very, very thick to chew. It was like a very heavy, dense chip. So, I swallowed it and uh, immediately realized this was a mistake. So, for a while, um, I was kind of just, you know, sitting, breathing heavy, doing everything I can to make the pain more bearable. It was uh, very uncomforting. Painful even. But around the minute to two minute mark, the reason why I quit so early was because I felt this sensation. That is the worst thing I've ever felt in my life in my facial area. I've had my nose broken, and that was more bearable than the feeling I felt when I did this. So, the top of my lip started burning... And it wouldn't go away. It was like really... It was like... It felt like it was edging into my lip. But that wasn't the painful part. The part that made me l lose my sanity doing this challenge. Made me feel like I had to quit. In my nose area, I started to feel this very heavy... Heavy vibration. That felt like it was like pulling my nose. And it was like... Horrible. It was undescribable how awful that felt. Like, snot started running wild. Saliva was obviously a big aspect because it just started oozing. It was... It was awful. 
eventually I was like, fuck it, I quit. So, I didn't drink any milk until I sat back down because I wanted to sit for the video. Because it was still at the point where I was like, oh, it's fucking horrible. It fucking hurts. But I still got to focus on my YouTube video. Every drink of milk I took. When the milk was in my mouth, it made it feel okay momentarily. But right as I swallowed it, it immediately came back. I went through a whole gallon of milk. I went through ice cream like a snap of a finger. And it wouldn't go away. It took like 15 minutes. 30 minutes even. I, I don't know. I don't remember the time completely. I was in pain outside, gargling milk, spitting it. I was crying. I had snot all over the place. And my throat was in agony. My nose still felt like it was throbbing. And my mouth was on fire. All my friends in the Discord call were starting to get worried and started cracking jokes occasionally, but they were worried overall. Eventually, my friend Matt came over, and uh, it was so bad that I literally was shirtless. And I hate being shirtless on camera. I'm fat, okay? Well, I'm not fat fat, but I'm overweight. I don't know. I guess it's fat if you truly think about it, but I'm, I'm fucking fat, okay? Let's just leave it at that. I'm fat. I don't like taking my shirt off, but it was so bad that I didn't care. I took off my shirt and even my beanie. And, in my opinion, my hair looked like an absolute garbage fest. I sat down and I was eating ice cream, trying to calm it down, and even the bites of ice cream, it didn't do anything. And the chip tasted nasty. I remember watching a video and, and um... In the video, the dude was like, why do people keep saying this chip tastes bad? Because it's fucking horrible. If I had to describe how something tastes that I've never had, I'd go as far as to say this tasted like tar. It was absolutely disgusting. Literally, I'd rather eat dog feces than that chip again. And no, I've never had dog feces. I never planned to. But, um, let's quit talking about it there, because I don't want anyone spectating that I eat dog shit, because that's just fucking disgusting. <laughs> but no, that, I eventually, like, everything ended, and I laid on my futon back here. And I was, like, rubbing my stomach, hoping the pain would stop, because, uh, the pain went from, like, my mouth and my throat. I mean, I still felt it. I, I clearly still felt it, but it went to my stomach, because the chip was, like, in my stomach area. And, um, that was the first phase known as, like, the face punch or punch in the face or whatever you call it on the box if you look at it. Eventually, my friend Matt's in my room talking to my friends through Discord and, uh, he's making sure I'm alright. Eventually, I got the phase two. Gut slash. This was off camera, by the way. This was the most miserable I felt all year. So I didn't think the chip was so bad to make me throw up the way that I threw up. I was laying on the couch and suddenly I felt like my insides were bursting. And I stood up and I was like, oh, I gotta use the bathroom. I was urinating and it burned a little, but I, that might have just been because I was dehydrated or something. Or maybe I didn't drink enough. I don't know. Eventually I started to realize, oh, that's not, that's not shit. That's not anything to have, do with my ass or my genitals. I kneeled down and without hesitation just vomited like four to five different times. But the weird thing about the vomit that freaked me out was it was pink. And yeah, I know the chip was more of a purplish black color, but my vomit was pink. Like I threw up blood or something and it was like mixed into it. Although, who knows, maybe I'm just overreacting on it, but it was... It was pretty grody, and it definitely felt horrible. And I plug my nose when I throw up, whenever I get sick, because I hate tasting it. And if I taste it when it comes out, I throw up even more. So I try to prevent myself from throwing up more than what I need. That was a mistake. Immediately, I felt heavy burning in my nose. But my nose also felt super open, like I could breathe through each nostril, like, perfectly. Like, there was no snot, nothing clogging it because of that burn. So there was a little bit of a positive to that, but that's pretty much it. But that wasn't all. No. 
That wasn't all. So, after I threw up and I came out, I was still freaking out because, like, you know, it still hurt a little bit, but my stomach stopped hurting that bad. I sat down and I was chill, and eventually, uh, a couple hours later, my grandma got home and I had to use the bathroom. That was painful. I, I know it's disgusting to talk about, definitely an FYI thing, but I'm telling you exactly what I felt eating that goddamn chip. I'm not leaving out the details. If you find it disgusting, get the hell off the video. It's completely okay. But I took a shit, like, a lot. And it burned so bad. And, uh, that carried on for over 12 hours. No, I didn't shit for 12 hours. That's ridiculous, but... I would shit for 20 minutes. I'd be in the bathroom just on the toilet freaking out saying, Please let it end. I'd leave. And I was like, alright, I'm glad it's done. Five minutes later, I felt my stomach, and I was like, oh, I'm going back. And it was like that for a good, uh, a good hour to two hours. And I went to the bathroom a good five or six times, having to go, and it burned each time. And I was, um, I thought it was over when I went to bed and I woke up. I woke up, and immediately I had to use the bathroom. And that was the last time I felt the burn. It was a really painful one in the morning. But after that, when I got up, it kind of all stopped. So that pain went on for over 12 hours. Yeah. Maybe 14, 15 hours worth of hell that I went through for eating that chip upon this platform. And I don't do shit for views. I normally don't. I like to upload content people like to see. So if a video happens to get views, it makes me happy people are enjoying it. But I did this for the people who watch my channel to be entertained. I'm hoping people enjoyed it because I suffered a lot. And I'm not the kind of person that's like, like this video, subscribe. I say if you want to, go for it. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're interested. Comment if you want. Alright? Like, that's my motto. Comment, like, and subscribe if you truly want to. I'm not forcing anybody. And I never will. That's not how I roll. But that's how I felt going through this whole process of eating the Pocky One Chip Challenge. It burned. It was agony. And if you have a low pain tolerance, don't do it. Because you will regret it. You will.